Hello, I'm Jonathan Kay reporting for Room Now at ACR Convergence 2021, which was to have taken place in San Francisco. This morning, I was both intrigued and impressed by the enthusiastic presentation of Abstract 461 by Megan Criswell, an MD-PhD student from the University of Colorado, who described her elegant studies of autoantibodies from individuals at risk for RA that cross-react with intestinal bacteria. We know from the work of Jose Scher that Prevotella copri is more abundant in feces of patients with new onset RA who lack shared epitope risk alleles. We also know from the work of the SARA group that rheumatoid factor and IgG anti-CCP antibodies are present in sputum of patients with early RA, first degree relatives of RA patients, and individuals who are seropositive for an RA-related autoantibody. Ms. Criswell first derived monoclonal antibodies to RA-related antigens from plasma blasts obtained from patients with RA or from individuals at risk for RA. She found that over half of these antibodies reacted with intestinal microbiota in the families Lacnosporaceae and Ruminococcaceae. She then isolated seven strains of Ruminococcaceae subdola granulum from the feces of an individual at risk for RA and found one strain that stimulated CD4 positive T cells from RA patients in a DR4 dependent manner. She then fed this strain to mice by gavage in a sterile environment and found that it induced serum IgA production, RA related autoantibodies, and to her surprise, joint swelling. It did this even better than Prevotella copri. She then was able to induce joint swelling in other mice by transferring serum to them from mice with arthritis, which required the presence of T and B cells. These findings suggest that this Ruminococcaceae subdola granulum isolate stimulates formation of mature isolated lymphoid follicles in the intestine, which in turn support IgA production and generate antigen-specific intestinal IgA in germinal centers. This immune response in the gastrointestinal tract then likely prompts a systemic immune response and conversion of mucosal to systemic immunity. The resulting circulating antibodies then may cross-react with RA-relevant self-antigens, which could initiate the joint pathology observed in RA. It will be interesting to learn whether Ruminococcaceae subdola granulum is a dominant constituent of the microbiome of patients with early RA. Regardless, this elegant translational research study brings us closer to satisfying Cox postulates regarding a microbial etiology for seropositive rheumatoid arthritis. For more coverage of ACR Convergence 2021, go to roomnow.com. I'm Jonathan Kay.